Hey Perfume Addicts, this is Anna Absolute and welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing because all I talk about is fragrance and yeah, I'm sure you're addicted to it too. What's up guys? It's been a while since I've been back, so I appreciate you guys being hella patient. Um, today I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fragrances, all pretty friggin' expensive. <laughs> And we're going to do first impressions on most of them, uh, on most of them, okay. Only a first impression on two of them. The rest I have already opened and have already been enjoying, but we will talk about that as we get through it. Hey guys, hey Coco, I love you so much. <sighs> oh, I miss you guys. Um, yeah, and then at the end of the video, we are going to be um, announcing the winners for the giveaway that I posted about maybe two, almost three weeks ago now, I think. Um, yeah, guys, sorry. I um, had a funeral in California, and it just took me a long time to kind of get back in the groove to everything. Yeah, but, you know, we gonna do it. Hi, Takara. I love you. Guys, the sun is actually shining this morning and I got into this like my usual spot that I always film in and it doesn't look the same in the sunlight and I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about this. So I might have to like redo a little area so that I can get the sun for my big window in my front of my house. Anyways, guys, let's just go through a list of what I have today. Um, I, and I will also tell, I, I was given a few of these fragrances, so I will tell you, um, there's like this option on YouTube that you have to say whether it's a paid, paid promotion. I don't get paid for talking about these fragrances, but I did get them for free. So I'm not sure if I should be clicking that button or not, but as for right now, I'm not, but just to let you guys know, I didn't pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for this, guys. I haven't smelt it yet. This is um, Reckless by Roja Parfums, a pretty expensive fragrance. I did link it down below if you guys wanted to check it out. I haven't smelt it yet. So I'm really, really excited about this one. I was given to this um, by the company. Thank you, Roja. And um, I haven't smelt this yet, but I did buy it because I feel like if you're if you're into fragrance, you kind of need the basics. And I feel like even though a lot of people love it, I needed to try it. This is Santal 33. Mom. Come on, dude. Yes, yeah, get out. Get out. Yes. Yes, go. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That was my son being hella rude. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, guys, this is Santal 33. I got my name on it on Absolute. I got it from the website. You can do that if you buy it from the website. Or if you go in store, which there is none in Alaska, and I doubt there will ever be. So yeah. Anyways, guys, and um, next is Mojave Ghost. I already, I've already been wearing this one, and I like it a lot. But um. Uh, guys, I got a really good deal for this because so um, when people sign up through my link on Mercari and anyone can do this, you don't have to be an influencer or, you know, somebody. If any if you share your link through Mercari and people buy, you like get um, you get credit for people like making their first purchase. Anyway, so basically I had enough people sign up for Mercari that I basically got this for free. Hell yeah. Anyways, so that's that. And um. Then I have a three fragrances from Michael Malul. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Atara, I've been wearing this a lot. And um, Candy and Bloom. I really like them all. I do have a discount code. It's absolute 20, you get 20% off. That's also listed down below and the links that you can find the fragrances at. I do make a small percentage if you make um, a, a purchase with my link. <laughs> cost you nothing. And I super duper appreciate it. So yeah, but I had to put that in there. Um, and next is I finally got a Baccarat Rouge 540, a real one. I've never had a fake one, but <laughs> like a, not a dupe or a clone. I finally got one. I wanted to go for the straight, but dude, the straight is like expensive. But then I'm like, I spend so much on fragrances. I know I'm going to buy it anyways. So I'll just have both. But anyways, 
I finally got a real one. Hey, Nats, what's up? B August, uh, Tara is bomb. I'll explain it. I'll explain it though. And then this next one is expensive as hell. I think I paid like almost $300 for this 50 mil. I was tripping. I've been tripping though. Y'all already know I've been tripping. Like, <laughs> I've really been tripping. Anyways, so um, this is um, Fleur Nakartik. I hope I'm saying that right. I probably am not, or just being too extra with an accent. But um, by X Nihilio. Nihilo. Nihilo. X Nihilo. Um, and it's by the same perfumer that did the Delinas, Quentin Biche. And we'll talk about that. I have been wearing it and I do like it. Yeah, a Ricky or Richie. I know, I've just been tripping lately. And the sun is getting brighter, great. Hopefully you guys can see me um, okay. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, it's a car. The price is just like, what the hell? What the hell? And... <laughs> Yeah, I did put um, luxury inside of the title because all these fragrances, except the Michael Malul fragrances, they're all over $200 a bottle. Yeah, tripping, yes. But anyways, so I'll let you guys know. Takara, I don't even go anywhere either. Dude, I mean, have any of you guys got your guys' vaccines so that we can open up anytime sooner? Yes, Nats, I'm really excited to wear Baccarat for the spring. Like, really, really excited. I have been wearing it, like, um, with my little tester that I had. So, I'm excited. Like, I feel like it's kind of everybody wears it in everywhere except Alaska. So, I'm safe here to be a little bit different. But, yeah, it's it's a lovely fragrance. Anyways, which one do you guys want to do first? How about let's do the um, the first impressions first, and then we'll go through the rest. Um, let's do the Santal 33. Good. I'm proud of you guys for getting your vaccine. I'm too scared. <laughs> Even though Alaska has opened up the vaccine to all um, ages over 16, every, everyone can get it now. So I think I'm going to get it soon. Um, you guys know my uncle passed away from COVID and, um, Literally five people in my immediate family had it these past two weeks. And it's just been, it's been crazy. So another reason why I haven't been here. Uh, I have some, I'm on live. I, for, I forget sometimes I'm on live and I got to be careful what I say. Cause I was about to say some things, but I'm not going to say it. I'll say it on um, IG. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, so let's just do Santal 33. We're going to use skin. We're going to use skin for Santal 33 and um, Reckless by Roja. These are my two, my two blind buys kind of. And so let's do Santal 33 first. I don't know what I'm expecting other than like a nice Santal, like um, what is that called? What is Santal? You know what Santal is, the actual other one. Uh, yeah, and I've had a lot of, sorry, I'm also reading the comments. I've had a lot of people get them in my like immediate circle at work and they're fine. So I'm sure the vaccine's safe. I'm just a little scared. Anyways, guys, we're getting into Santal 33. Yeah, sandalwood, Coco, thank you. I'm an idiot. I was like, um, I know there's a word. I know the, I know the note. Why am I forgetting sandalwood? Hi, Denise. How are you doing? It smells okay. It smells like, like trees. Like if you were to go into a forest to me, it's fresh, but deep. Um, Laura, it smells like a really good fragrance to, um, layer with, but at the price that it is, I don't know if it's worth getting it. If you don't like it, I would say if you can return it, return it. Denny, you're not late. We're just getting into the first, first impression. So you're good. <laughs> 
Coco said it smells like dry leaves. Now that she says it, it does. But it smells like a forest to me. I would wear this to work. Something that my boss wouldn't complain about. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it smells like sharp, fresh leaves to me. Leaves or wood, like in like the middle of a forest. Oh, John, which dupes do you like better? I'd like to know. Laura says she smells dill pickles out of this Santal 33. I don't get that at all, but I'm not one person who picks up pickles and fragrances. A lot of people do. I'm not one of those people. Mm. Hi, Beatrice. It's okay. It's okay. I wasn't expecting, I guess I wasn't, I was expecting something more creamy. I've heard it described as like a creamy sandwood. I wouldn't say that it is. So yeah, but it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. I'm moving on. Um, Roja Reckless. Again, I got this sent to me by the company. So thank you, Roja. I really appreciate it. And dude, when I saw them in my inbox, I was like, what? Me? <laughs> like me? For real? <laughs> Thank you. What's up, D'Angelo? Okay, so I'm excited. Um, let's look up the notes. I did look up the notes um, before. Sorry, guys. I was like um, scrambling around before this video because my internet wasn't working and then the sun was throwing me off. So this is Roja Reckless Pore Femme. I believe there is a male version. So this is not it. This is the female version. This is, I, I believe it's one of their newer fragrances. Um, I will read you guys the notes that they are listed on their website. And that is bergamot, mandarin, orange, um, geranium, rose de mai, neroli, jasmine, coriander, pink pepper, cinnamon, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, cintrax, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, and musk. <laughs> Um, they have a very cute picture on their website. <gasps> Takara got one too. Um, you did you get reckless, Takara? Which one did you get? Okay, the sprayer is nice. It's um faint. I feel like it's like a. Like you, like you feel like you're spraying it on and it's like gives like effect of like fanciness, but it's not a heavy sprayer. It's very light. The smell is very light. I read, I've already read reviews on it and I heard that it smelled a little similar to um, Killian, Love Don't Be Shy. This, I like it. It's... Very pretty. It's very pretty. I kind of get the love don't be shy comparison a little, but it's not the same to me. It's a little more floral. Um, no caramel, like caramely, like it doesn't have any gourmand touches to me. Mm, okay, so what is the flower that I'm getting out of this? Let me look at the fragrances. I am getting the jasmine and the vanilla and the benzoin. Mm. Um, is it worth the money? Um, FYI, you guys know I spend a lot of money on fragrance. I would buy this fragrance with my own money, so yes. But if you are a person who budgets, I don't think you need this, obviously. Oh, be August. I will tell you guys how long this lasts and get back to you. How much is it? Let's see. Dare I even say how much it is? They describe this as a floral, sweet, warm, soft, powdery, and sensual. I would say it is sensual. Dude, where is the price? You know when they don't show you the price, you know what that means, right? Um, 
it's not showing me the price. Why? I want to say it's well over $300. It's over $300. I can't give you the exact price right now, but it's over $300 for a full bottle. This is pretty. Um, it's giving me more musk than Killian Love. I like it a lot. It's really pretty. What do you think about it, um, Takara? Did you already do a video on it? Guys, I've been like shutting out the whole world, so I haven't been even like updated on everyone's videos, but I'm getting back in it, guys. Um, D'Angelo, I think if you consider the um, ML, that this might be cheaper than love because love is what? Two something for a 50 mil? <laughs> Oh, guys, FYI, um, be layered. The caramel overdose is back in stock. Well, it was yesterday and I bought it. So just FYI. I missed you, Moon, too. I miss you guys all. Yeah, so it's 310 bucks. Thank you, Coco. Dude, Coco is like, always helped me. I like it. It's very pretty. More floral than love to me. Lighter. I feel like um, if you felt like, Love was too immature for you. You would like this one better. Hmm, I like it. I like it a lot. But then again, I like love too. So, hmm. okay, next, guys. Um, thanks, Rosa, for giving that to me. I did put the link down to look below to their website, but I think you can also find it um, at other stores too. And so, yeah. Um, Santal, I feel like it would be better. Santal 33, I feel like it would smell better on a dude. FYI. It does smell, now that Coco said it, it smells like the inside of a new leather boot. And I'm not mad at that. Like it smells like a pair, a box of new shoes. Yeah, that's what this smells like to me. Okay, guys. Yeah, Takara, smart, smart. That is, Takara said um, she thinks it could be more of a spring-summer version of love, which I do agree with. Mm, look out for my spring video, guys. This could be in there. Oh, wow, this smells really good. Okay, so yeah. Um, Reckless by Roja, amazing. I love it. It's very soft. So I'm going to have to do a full wearing of it. Oh, and guys. So when I went to California, yes, fragrances are way stronger there and last way longer. I wore, um, I wore, what did I wear? Dude, what's the, something's the matter with my brain. It's not working. But I wore a fragrance and I was like, whoa, this is like way too strong. Like I was really wearing this in Alaska, like 10, like 20 sprays. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, um. Santal 33, I think better for a guy, like literally smells like clean, like new shoes, new leather shoes. I'm not mad at it, but uh, I probably would only wear this to work or like um, a place where you can't really wear fragrances. Okay, next. Oh, okay. So we'll do a Michael Malul fragrance. We'll go from my, my most favorite to my, no, we'll do my least favorite to my favorite, but I like them all. Um, this is Bloom by Michael Malul. This is a very nice, um, like, act, like, I feel like nowadays when we say floral, we're always meaning like, like a sweet floral because that's just kind of, I feel like where perfumery, well, pop popular perfume has kind of like ev evolved to, um, this isn't that this is like a very, like a true floral. Oh, no, it's kind of sweet too. I lied. It's kind of sweet too. Oh, but it's really pretty. And I feel like a little bit, um, a little more elevated. It has, I wouldn't say it, it, it has any green notes in it, but there's green touches in it that really make this come off a little bit more elegant than um, a, like a sweet like floral. 
Oh, so John says Bloom reminds him of a Gucci Bloom flanker. I haven't, I haven't, it doesn't smell similar to any of the ones I've tried. So I, I couldn't tell you that, but I really like it. Um, I listed it down below. You guys, um, just FYI, I already said in the beginning, but um, my code that it has on that I put in there, absolute 20, you get 20% off of these fragrances. So hi, Nav. I love you and I miss you. Yeah. Um, Bloom or my, okay. I've already read those. Okay. So yeah, I really like this one. I feel like, um, this would be like a perfect gift for mother's day. My mom wouldn't wear this. My mom likes celebrity fragrances or like, um, Victoria's secret, but I feel like most moms would, it's very classy and I feel like you can wear it anywhere. That is bloom. I will be, um, putting some of these in another video talking coming soon but yeah so then my next favorite and i've actually worn this one a lot this is candy by michael malul i literally was spraying it so much that i messed up the little picture here but this smells like a vanilla cotton candy heavy on the vanilla it's kind of powdery, but not in like a light airy way. It's very sweet. You have to like sweet fragrances to get down with candy, but this is um, a really, really nice one. But anyways, let's just get to the um, last one, which is my absolute favorite. And I love, 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 love this fragrance. Oh, Dani, I'm glad you got Atara. Um, Atara, if you got, if you like Angel Muse, I think, okay. So Takara says candy reminds her of, um, Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer, which I've never tried. Yeah. Vanilla candy. Like it, it's really good. Okay guys. So, um, the Atara Michael Malul, if you like Angel Muse, I think you'll be able to like this one. It does have um strong, bro, my brain, <laughs> my brain is gone. Patchouli, it has a very, very strong patchouli that is kind of reminiscent of the patchouli in Angel Muse and also in um, the other very popular one, which will also come to my head. It's coming up. The, to me on first spray, the, so this is kind of, so when I first sprayed it, I instantly thought of Angel Muse with a very strong grapefruit. That's what I thought. But since I've been wearing it more, it is its own fragrance. It's not the same at all. And it has like similar notes of Angel Muse, but it's like, it, com it comes off the skin a little different. I really like it. I really, 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 really like it. It's strong. It lasts all day, all day, all day. And I pr it's probably because of the patchouli. Yeah. I really, really like the grapefruit in here. If you don't like great, Lavia Bell, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it reminds me of Lavia Bell as well, the patchouli in here. So, but the strong. The sh there's a strong grapefruit and like citrusy notes in here and it comes off extremely bright to me and I freaking love it. Buy this for yourself and then buy bloom for your mom. Mm. It's, it's beautiful. I love this one. Anyways, guys, next, um, any questions, any questions? Um, <laughs> It's Cara is the bomb. I I thought grapefruit was in the notes. Um, I th I think grapefruit is in the notes on their website, Takara. Um, next guys. So which we'll just talk about Baccarat. I feel like I don't need to um say a lot about um it. I haven't sprayed it yet. I don't plan on spraying it until I use up my little tester because I want this to last as long as possible. <laughs> and actually my tester is almost out. So probably by the time the snow melts, I'll um, open this bad boy up. And yeah, guys, I don't, I don't, there's not much to say about it. I love it. 
the Tester's Bomb. I'm excited I have my own fragrance of it. I feel like I should have bought it a long time ago, but you know, whatever. Yes, I agree. John says Atara, cross between um, Angel Muse, La Via Belle, and Regular Angel mixed, in my opinion. I would have to agree. I like all of those. Um, guys, the only thing about um, the Baccarat Rouge, I feel like um, for my tester, or like every time I've sprayed it, I get like this teething ring plastic key vibe like the first week I was wearing it and that kind of turned me off and then after that I don't know if my nose just changed to it but it started smelling like way better I I'm a lover of angel muse so don't get don't ask that's my opinion oh guys I want to show you the box to my um to my Roja Dove and my uh, Atara, because the box is cute. Um, the Bloom and Candy are like normal boxes, but I thought this box was cute. And then the Roja box, it's definitely um, elegant and niche It's like, it like sits in this. And I feel like they're not like going too overboard. I feel like there are a lot of like nice boxes that I feel like are just like, I will never really use them. The box is really nice and pretty, but I will never like use it at the end. Like again, after I throw it away, Beatrice says Bakra is overhyped in her opinion. I, if I lived anywhere else, I probably wouldn't have bought Bakra just because so many people wear it. But because here in Alaska, guys, we're like living like nobody dresses up, nobody wear, no one is like that extra here. So I feel like I'm a little different, but yeah. Okay, guys, next we're going to go into my Byredo <laughs> that I love. I got a um, Mojave Ghost. Byredo is pretty expensive. This is Mojave Ghost. I'm going to spray it because Nav says cloud smells better. And if you hate that like plasticky smell that some people, that plasticky slash medicinal quality that a lot of people get in Baccarat that you don't like, go for cloud because it doesn't have it as much and it's sweeter. Yeah. So. Um, this is Mojave Ghost by Byredo. This is my first Byredo fragrance. What is that from? <laughs> All of my fragrances, I've had these for a while, guys. They've been waiting right here for me to film, and I just haven't gotten to them. So I'm like, what is on my bottle? Anyways, Mojave Ghost by Byredo. This smells like what I want my whole house to smell like. It kind of smells like, like new stuff. Um, D'Angelo says, I love Mojave Ghost. Just doesn't last long enough for the price. It does. Um, it lasts on my skin, but it definitely doesn't project past, I want to say like an hour. It lasts on my skin though. Very pretty. And um, I, guess, I guess I am really, really happy about this because I got a new bottle off Mercari. And it is authentic and everything. The, I think it was just like a regular person who just didn't want it anymore. I usually like to buy fragrances from people who aren't like aren't selling hella fragrance because they feel like those are the ones trying to fool us. Anyways, <laughs> with the fakes. But anyway, um, so I basically got this for free from all my credit that I had on Mercari. So I really like it. It's really pretty. It smells like new clothes or a new house or a new car, like sweet plastic, I kind of want to say, but not in the bad way. I don't know how to explain it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Okay, that's Mojave Ghost. 
And next, guys, so I've been contemplating whether I'm going to keep this or um, try to get my money back for it. This is Fleur Nakartik by Ex Nihilo. Um, this has a very nice note of lychee. That's mostly actually what I get from it. Guys, this fragrance is beautiful. Literally, um, actually, most of the fragrance that I talked about here today, like, you can't smell any alcohol in this fragrance whatsoever. <laughs> Wait, I'm not selling you on what? On Mojave Ghost? <laughs> yeah. It's it's like a sweet plastic. I don't know how to. That's all, all how I can describe it. I like it though. Um, <laughs> that's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah, um, ex nihilo. So this has this is by Quentin Beach, the same guy who did both of the Delinas. It's not similar to Delina whatsoever to me, other than that it has that lychee note. I feel like. Delina is more playful and youthful, and this is a bit more, sorry guys, it's all of a sudden getting really bright, so it might like adjust a little, the lighting, if that didn't make sense. <laughs> um, where Delina is like a little bit more playful and youthful, this is a bit more grown up and can be worn in more professional settings. It's still sweet. Uh, there's something about it that you just want to keep like smelling it. But I think what gets me about this fragrance is the price. I spent, I think, $250, a little less on a 50 mil. Yeah, tripping again, tripping again. <laughs> but I had to have it after reading the notes. The notes in this thing just look so good. Let me read them to you. Fleur. So this was released in 2014. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so it has lychee, bergamot, peach, peony, orange blossom, jasmine, petalia, musk, moss, and woody notes. I feel like there was other things in there. But mostly I get um, the lychee and the peony. Very pretty. <sighs> um, makeup junkie, it depends on what is your budget for a soft floral. This is actually a very pretty soft floral. Um, so, <laughs> Katie, I did my expenses for my channel to file my taxes, and I don't even, I'm so embarrassed to say how much I spent. So, I'm gonna try to slow down this. I'm gonna try to slow down this year and only buy fragrances that I'm testing first and trying because what got me in trouble is I was addicted to blind buying. Super addicted to blind buying. Super addicted. I admit it. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a fragrance addict. <laughs> so this year it's going to change. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit more smarter with my money. But um, anyways, she's really pretty. Very linear, meaning that the fragrance doesn't change. Linear, aligned, it stays the same. Um, But soft, sweet, and... Airy, I feel like this smells like a princess, like a classy princess would wear this, who's also a little fun because it's still a little sweet. Ah, it's pretty. It's really pretty. Um, when I first sprayed it, I was a little let down. I was a little let down because I was expecting, when you blind buy something for a ridiculous amount that you never should have bought, you like spray it like, okay, this needs to be bomb. This needs to be bomb. This needs to be bomb. And I just wasn't getting that at first. Like I was like, this is nice. I'm not really getting it. But now I really like just love smelling it. It's a little addictive to smell. But definitely, guys, don't be like me. Get a tester first of this before you invest in the bottle. Very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, Beatrice, I think 2020 could be listed like blind, the blind by year for everybody. I think we were all doing it irresponsibly. Yeah. 
as hell. <laughs> Hi, Eve. Okay, let's, um, I'm going to talk, but I'm going to look up the, how to the winner picker thing online so I can pick the winner of the, of the giveaway. Oh, I should have brought them with me. So the first place winner gets, sorry, let me get the, um, I want to thank everybody. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. It's my first day back, guys. And give me a break. I'm gonna um thank everybody who watched my giveaway video, my Q and A, and also entered. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are the bomb. Random winner picker. No, 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 no. Winner picker from YouTube. I mean, oh, oh, my only blind buy was the Disney cupcake. <gasps> Did you like it? Um, I know Becky got that. Becky Collazo got that. And she really, really liked it. Uh, Takara said it st started in 2019 for her. Yeah, it started for me in 2019 too. But I feel like 2020, because I started my channel, I just kind of went wild. Like way too wild. Amber. I sent it to Amber recently. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's all blame it on the um, freaking... Okay, here we go, finally. Okay, done. Filter duplicate. So the win, the first place winner we're gonna choose right now. And I also will list this on my community tab later for the first place winner and then the two runner ups. I'll um, email you guys. And well, if you, if you guys are here and you win, just give me your email now or email me on how to get what you want. Okay. Start. Sorry guys. I'm like all over the place. Start. I know. Um, okay. So this is going to be the winner of the bottle. I think Katie, Katie Stark, you just, you won the, um, the giveaway. Katie, you're here. I'm so glad you're here and you won. That's awesome. <laughs> so well, I'm, I'm all over the place. So Katie, um, you just won the giveaway for the, um, guys, what did I give away? My brain is everywhere. I'm so sorry. The YSL manifesto. Katie, if you already have it, um, I can give you something else, but yeah, um, email me. Katie, actually, have you won for me before? You possibly have, but we won't talk about that. And then let's do the um, two runner ups. So let me take a picture of that. And the two runner ups are winning the House of Siage. Um, the House of Siage sample packets. And let's see who those people are. Chris, Chrissy, are you here? I'm gonna, um, I'll post your, you can win one of those. And then let's do another winner for the last Siage, House of Siage sample pack. I should probably do a video before I send you guys those House of Siage sample packs because I've had them forever. I just never did a video on them. Um, Jasmine Beltran, you won the second one and I'll post that. I don't think I saw Jasmine in here or Chris. So yeah, you guys are the winners of the giveaway. How is everybody else doing today? 
Um, let's 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 read. I was kind of going through the comments, but not so much. Um, congratulations, Katie. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, makeup junkie. Same. I'd be watching hella vids on fragrances and purchasing my my husband hides his wallet. <laughs> oh, Jasmine, you're here. Hey, congratulations. Email me your address and I will send them to you as soon as I can. Hey, Bougie, what's up? I'm glad you guys are here today. Guys, today is my sister's birthday, so I'm going to see her soon. So I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you guys for being here um, with this haul. I will have videos coming up by next weekend, so please keep on the lookout, and thank you guys for everything and your support. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>